Ever wondered how to access water without electricity or any other power sources? The answer lies in the simplicity and effectiveness of a hand pump, especially vital in rural areas. By simply moving the handle up and down, clean water becomes accessible. Join us in this video as we demonstrate the fascinating process of obtaining water using a hand pump. Let's take a moment to explore groundwater. Earth's surface is predominantly covered by water, about 71% to be precise. When water evaporates and condenses into clouds, it eventually precipitates as rain across various regions. Upon reaching the ground, a portion of this rainwater flows directly over the surface as runoff, while a substantial amount seeps into the soil. This infiltrated water gradually moves downward through the soil and permeable rock layers, driven by gravity. With time, as more water percolates into these underground reservoirs, it accumulates and forms what we know as groundwater. As it traverses through layers of sand and rocks, the groundwater becomes clear. Some groundwater may also find its way into rivers and lakes if there are connections between them. However, certain reserves remain underground for millennia, untouched for over a million years. To start building a hand pump, the first task is to dig and place the pipe until it reaches the groundwater level. Assembly of the hand pump should only begin once clean water becomes available. At the heart of a hand pump is a cylinder and piston mechanism. This mechanism consists of a long cylinder, typically made of metal, with a piston inside it. The piston fits snugly within the cylinder, creating a sealed chamber. At the bottom of the cylinder, there is an inlet valve, also known as the foot valve or check valve. This valve opens inward, allowing water to enter the cylinder from the groundwater source. At the top of the piston, there is an outlet valve, also known as the delivery valve. This valve opens outward, allowing water to exit the cylinder and be delivered to the surface. When the handle of the hand pump is pulled downward, the piston moves upward inside the cylinder. This creates a vacuum or low pressure zone inside the cylinder, which causes the inlet valve to open. Since the inlet valve only opens inward, it lets the air occupy the vacuum and close it afterward. When the handle of the hand pump is pushed upward, the piston moves downward inside the cylinder. This compresses the air inside the cylinder, causing the outlet valve to open. As the piston moves downward, the air is forced out of the cylinder through the outlet valve, and when the handle is pulled down and the piston goes upward, and a new low pressure zone is formed inside the cylinder, which then causes the inlet valve to open, and then the cycle repeats until the water reaches the cylinder after every air is sucked out. The cycle now repeats with water instead of air, the process of pulling the handle upward, suction stroke, and pushing it downward, delivery stroke, is repeated continuously to pump water from the groundwater source to the surface. If your hand pump isn't functioning properly, check the rubber ring positioned atop the piston. If it's loose, it can't hold enough pressure inside and it's time for a replacement. However, if the ring is in good condition, you might want to examine the inlet and outlet valve that can be stuck or damaged. Finally, it's crucial to recognize that groundwater is finite. It forms slowly and can evaporate prematurely due to heat. Excessive usage can deplete these reserves, leading to water shortages that affect us all. Therefore, it's essential to use water wisely and avoid unnecessary waste. If you found this explanation insightful and wish to delve further into topics related to water access, technology, and more, consider subscribing to our Quasar Ed YouTube channel. If you'd like to support our efforts in creating educational content, consider becoming a Patreon. Your support allows us to continue producing high-quality videos 
and expanding our reach. Join us on Patreon and be part of our journey towards knowledge and discovery. Thank you for watching and see you next time.